Here we have three different shifters. This is the bottom of the six speed, this is the bottom of the five speed, and this is the bottom of the five speed short shifter. Now you can see they all share the same ball size. Now I know I have that bushing on there, but if I take either one of those off, they're the same diameter, okay? Or same circumference rather. One thing that is different is the six speed has two slots on it, all right? See that? Whereas you can see the five speed there it only has the one. I'm going to adapt the five speed short throw to work in here. Now as it sits, if I take this off, normally this is hammered in and so is that one. You tap them out, it's pretty easy to figure out. And you can see here again, this is the five speed short shifter. And it's gonna fit right inside that little deal. That's gonna be the actual, actual shift mechanism. Now you can see there, see it's too, too tall. That's, that's the only reason this doesn't work. It's just too tall. So what I did was I took the tops off of these and I was able to get this guy here, which this right here is the diameter of the cup, right? So the five speed one can go in there and it would act like a short throw, kind of. You can see it's, it's still kind of floppy and loose in there. And then if we took the, the actual six speed one, we put it down in there, see? It, the ball's not even in. So you, we would have to take this one out. But if we take this, we sit that in there like that. And then this here is the top of the five speed short shifter kit. Okay. And that's why we have that little indentation sitting on the top. Now, mind you, this, this can move around a little bit, right? So you got to be real gentle. Make sure you line it up right. We take the five speed one. Alright, we go ahead and there it's in. Now check that out. See, this is me trying to move it around. If, if I push it downward, you can see there it's actually in. Okay, so now what we need to do, we would turn that to line it back up. Alright, so now that I got those lined up, we can take this. We can sit it down and we take the little screw portion. It sits right in there. And then that's it. So now it fits, right? But the problem is that if we squish it down, the space right there, that's not going to work. But this washer that I went and found at the hardware store, this slide right in there. And that top's going to come up just a tiny, tiny little bit, which is fine because this is, see how that's pushing down into there? So I don't want it to push down in there like that. I'd like it if it sat up just a little bit so the shifter had just a, a little bit of play because if it's too tight, it'll start breaking stuff in here. You need it to be just a little bit loose, right? See how that's just, it's just kind of loose? Right, so we can stick that in there and that fits perfect. How I figured that out was I was stacking washers until the thing would actually shift properly. So before I demonstrate it, I'm just going to go ahead and modify this here. I'm telling you right now, very few people have the grinding skills I have. When you're uh, using that cheapo, terrible welder all the time, you got to do something. So I guess me and this Dremel, that's, that's my go-to right there. That looks damn good. <laughs> we go like that. Oh yeah, she's a hot dog in a hallway. Fantastic. Let's get back over and see what it looks like on the shifter. All right, we're back in the car, transmission's installed, shifter is all reassembled, and I have my own personal shifter on here versus what would normally be, which would be just, you know, like a shift ball. Uh, the reason why is because the main shifter turret down here, I've actually shortened so that this didn't monster truck all the way up here. And uh, I have it centered on the two inch mark, and you can see there's a little bit of play, so I tried to center it the best I could. And we're just gonna go ahead and see what the play going forward into third is. And it centers up perfectly with the one inch so that means we have a one inch of travel there and then center it back up come back down centers again there so it looks like an inch travel either way i'd say a safe two inch throw which is greatly reduced from what the stock six speed was which i believe was well over three inches i'll put it in the annotations so I hope this helped. If you have any questions about how I did this, it's really just swapping the guts of a 6-speed and a 5-speed turret together. 
There is no cutting necessary. Let's drop right in. Thanks for watching. Y'all take care. Peace.